Hello. Let's talk about buying land in Thailand. Well, Thailand has some of the strictest land laws in the world, unlike Australia, where all the Chinese are going to Australia and buying up all the land. I, I live on a pretty good street in Australia, and the Chinese have purchased most of the street. Both houses beside me in Australia are now owned by Chinese, which is good for me because it means I will get to sell my house to Chinese investors when I want to sell my house. But it's bad for Australia because eventually Australia will be fully owned by Chinese and uh, other other foreign investors. But at the moment, the Chinese are really um, buying up in Australia, buying up big. Um, Thailand has very strict land ownership rules. I live in an apartment in an apartment. In Thailand, you can, you can buy air. So you can buy apartments, high-rise apartments, but you can't buy land. But so many guys come to Thailand and they, they want to buy a block of land. So what they do is they, uh, they hook up with their, their uh, girlfriend, their Thai girlfriend, who is usually an uh, ex-bar girl or an ex-prostitute, and they uh, move up country and they, they buy these blocks of land and they, they put them in their girlfriend or wife's name. And uh, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you how all this, how, how this works. It's a funny story. It's a, it's a documentary. It's actually been made in a documentary. They, they followed this guy. He came over from England. He was, he was 49 years old. And, you know, he came over to Thailand for a holiday and they, they were doing a documentary on him. And he come in and he was spending time in Pattaya and he was, he was loving it. You know, he's walking around and and all the girls are yelling out, oh, sexy man, sexy man, where you go? I want to go with you. I want to take care of your cock. You know, all this kind of stuff, all the shit that they, that they yell out and they, they grab you when, you when you walk around, they grab you and they're trying to grab you on the dick and they, you know, they, they make you feel like the most special guy on earth. And um, this this guy's over here, and it's it's pretty overwhelming. It's it when you first get here, it's pretty overwhelming. You know, after a few years, it actually becomes annoying. And for me now, I I work I walk on the opposite side of the bars. Like if I'm walking down the street and there's bars, I'll I'll cross over to the opposite side because I'm sick of getting grabbed on the dick and getting grabbed on the ass and and getting just mauled and and molested as you walk down the street because it does after a couple of years it does actually become annoying but when you first get here it's it's overwhelming it's fantastic and anyway he's here and he's he's walking around and they're all grabbing him and that sexy man i want to go with you i want to take care of you and um he he meets this um this old duck and he's he falls in love with her you know he's she she treats him better than he's ever been treated before you know, and, and she's just nice they're just they're just nice to you. It's, it's so easy. It's, it's so easy to fall into their trap because they are just nice. And he, he falls completely into a trap. And, you know, he, he spends a couple of weeks with her and they, they document this on this, on, this, um, on this video. And he's here and he's enjoying her company and he has to go back to England. So anyway, he flies back to England and he's back there and he... He's sending her emails and he's talking to her online and on Facebook and you know he's miserable in England. He, he he misses her so much and she's playing it for everything. You know, oh I love you, my darling. I miss you. I miss you. I want you to come back. So he sells up everything in England. He sells everything he has, and um he he comes back to Pattaya and he he sees her again and and he says, look, I I, I want to marry you. I, I, I really want to marry you. The best thing that's ever happened to me, I want to marry you. So they go up country. They go up to Isan, which is up north, about 12, 9 to 12 hours away, depending on where where it is. And uh, they have this big wedding where he has to pay for everything, obviously, because she has no money. It's a big traditional Thai wedding. And they're married. And he, he buys a block of land. Now, obviously... Uh, he can't buy land, as I said before, because he's a foreigner, so the land has to go in her name. And he built a pretty nice house on it. Now, the intention was to, to create a pig farm on this block of land with this nice house that they've created, have a pig farm and have a little business going. So anyway, time goes by and uh, you, she's getting colder and colder towards him. You, you can see in this documentary, she's slowly, slowly getting colder and colder towards him, right to the point where she can't even touch him anymore. You know, she doesn't even want to touch him. And, and, and she's like, why are you even here? It gets to the stage where, you know, why are you even here? I don't want you here, you know. 
And, and he goes, but I love you, I love you. And she says, but I can't eat love. I can't eat love, you know. It's, it's a fucking, that's one of their favorite sayings, you know. He, these guys say, I love you. And they go, I can't eat love. Thai girls can't eat love. Remember that. Anyway, he's, he's in this fucking pig farm and she's doing all the work and at, at the end of it he's he's just sitting outside all day he's just sitting outside she's controlling all the money so he's got fuck all money she's controlling all the money and, and she won't even buy him beer it's at the point where he she will not even buy him a bottle of beer so he can sit outside and drink a bottle of beer so anyway eventually he goes fuck this i'm going to go back to Patea. but he's got he's got sweet fuck all money now so he comes back to Patea. he's staying in a shitty little fucking ten dollar a room ten dollar a day room it's horrid and he, by this time he's he's having his 50th birthday so he has his 50th birthday in this shitty little fucking ten dollar a day room and he's even struggling to pay that like he's not going out and getting hookers and drinking beers because he's got no money so anyway he discusses with the camera crew he says well why don't we go back up and try one more time with this with my wife so he he um they go back up to isan and uh he rocks back up at the farm and she's like, oh, fuck, not this cunt again, you know, he's fucking back. And he's he's like, oh, darling, darling, I want to be with you, I want to be with you, you know, you're my wife, you're my wife. And she's like, well, I don't want to be with you, I can't fucking stand you, you know, get off my property, get out of my house, you know. And and the, this poor prick, you know, he's he be, he's even saying, look, I'll, I'll go back to England. You know, I'm, I want to go back to England. I want I want to earn more money. I want to earn more money, and I, I want to make you fall in love with me. I want to come back here and make you fall in love with me. Yeah, and this is all being filmed. You know, fuck if this was me by now, I would have fucking knocked out the camera crew, knocked out the fucking sound guy. I'm not letting any cunt see this. You know what I mean? I would have fucking knocked them all out and pulled all the fucking film out of the camera. <laughs> you know, no cunt is seeing this shit. But he's he's pleading with his fucking Thai wife, telling her that he he'll go back to England, he'll earn more money, and he'll he'll come back and um make her fall in love with him again. I'm like, fuck, this guy's got no shame. This poor cunt's got no shame. So anyway, it, this goes on for a couple of days and there's no way she wants to get back with him. She, there's no way she's getting back with him. So so they they come to an arrangement where she gives him enough money so he can fuck off back to England. She gives him enough money so uh, he can get an air ticket and go back to England. Now, I don't believe that she put the money up. I believe that the documentary crew put the money up because um they just wanted an ending for this thing they they needed an ending for it i i don't i can't see her coming up with the fucking you know the 60,000 baht or whatever it is for a plane ticket back to england she wouldn't even buy him a fucking bottle of beer so why is she going to give him 60,000 baht for a plane ticket back to england so i i reckon the the doc documentary crew actually put the money up for the plane ticket back to england anyway it's his it's his last day and he's about to leave his farm that he paid for and his house that he built he's about to leave and uh he's trying he's saying goodbye to his wife he's telling her that he will go back to england he'll he'll earn more money and he'll come back and he will make her fall in love with him and uh as as he goes to leave he, he goes to give her a kiss on the cheek and she fucking pulls away she just doesn't even she despises this man man now she doesn't want to kiss she doesn't want anything it's just like fuck off get out of here you know and uh, he, he so he goes to kiss her on the cheek and she pulls away and so eventually there's this poor sorry cunt he's leaving thailand he's he's lost everything he's everything he had is invested in this property and in this pig farm and she's just done a number on him. She has just done a, a complete, absolute number on him. So my advice to you is do not fucking go up north, go up country, or don't go anywhere in Thailand and, and, and get involved with, with, a, with a girl. Because when it goes to shit, and don't tell me it won't go to shit, because don't tell me your girl is different, because she's not different. They're all the fucking same. You know, money is God over here. Money, my, I've, I've never seen... I've never seen a race of people where money is so fucking important, you know? They don't have a lot of it, but shit, it's important to them. It's the it, it's it's more important than oxygen. You know, it's just fucking money, money. Everything is money, 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 money over here. Crazy. So don't get involved in it. Don't don't get suckered into that shit, you know? There's no need to do it. You can you can I'll deal with it in another video. We we need to talk more about real estate in Thailand, but you you don't need to live on a fucking block of land. You can you can buy a apartment, a high rise, and that can be in your name. You don't have to put it in a like I said, you can't buy land, but you can buy air. So um 
yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good documentary. If, if you ever get a chance to see it, it might be on YouTube. I don't know. It's anyway. Eventually, he uh, he ended up getting his airfare and going back to England, and God knows what's happened to him since. There might be a part two when he comes back and gives her more money. But she's set now. She's set for life. She's got a little pig farm and she's running it well. You know, she's got a children up there because she had children to a previous marriage. Fuck no, she's probably moved her ex-Thai husband back in, you know, rung up her ex-Thai husband and said, hey, darling, I've got a, I've got a fucking pig farm now and a big house on a block of land. You can, you know, you can move back in now. And they do that. They actually do that. You know, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, do not get involved or get married and buy land because you could lose everything. I know a lot of you won't listen to me. I know a lot of you say, oh, fuck him. He's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. My girl's different. But but all I can do is advise you and, and where you go from there is up to you. Okay, guys, it's always good talking to you and uh, we will speak again soon. See ya.